Hey, welcome back. It's been a minute. So, um, this isn't a story today about what we gamed in the never ending story. Um, this is about, I went last Saturday, I went to, not yesterday, last Saturday, went to Virginia Beach Comic Con and I got a lot of stuff and I wanted to talk about it because it's cool and I don't get to talk about it with a lot of people. So, anyways, Virginia Beach. Oh, it's not Virginia Beach Comic Con. It's called Tidewater Comic Con. Do, do, do. Right there. All right. So, um, the camera's going really slow. Anyways, I got... So, a lot of people are into cosplay. I don't mind watching cosplay people, but I don't do it. Um, people are into the panels and boards and stuff. Uh, not really. I'm interested in seeing people that I've read of, read their work or enjoyed their art and then I interested in seeing what's new out there. I love the creativity at a comic con that and and by the way, Tidewater Comic Con is not as expensive as New York or San Diego, much easier to get into and it's not overwhelming with people. Just going to a cheaper con is so much easier it just makes a big difference so i'm just trying to enjoy uh explain that that's what i enjoyed about it. i went with my uh two brothers and nephew uh i went with joel and frank and um nicholas and saw some other people i knew there and uh, people i knew that were there i didn't see so it was that packed and i was busy so um i wanted to go over so what i do is interesting is i try to find artists that i like and try to get them to do some art for me. Um, hopefully not spend a fortune, but something I enjoy because I love seeing something I, I like in great art. So, um, does that sound ridiculous? I hope not. But um, So, first off, so everybody knows that my favorite character is um, Ilyana Rasputin and, uh, from Magic. It's my favorite female character, favorite character ever since I was by 13, 14 years old when uh, they wrote her into the X-Men and she grew up and I was like, that character was cool to me. So, anyways, um, and in, in my game, she's on, on my team. She's in a lot of the storylines that we write, um, she's there. So, um, I asked, I was, um, I originally wanted to get my exec to do some art, but 300 bucks was way too much money to do some art for me. So even though, you know, it's kind of legendary, but I didn't see him doing a lot of my stories over the years, just a few back in the eighties. So I was like, well, it was cool. But anyways, I saw other artists that were offering their talents for a lot less money. So, um, and I like their art, so there's something about their style or something that I like. Uh, so first off was this uh, picture I had done by Jose Yaro of Ilyana. She's got her sword there, but she's wearing, see how she's wearing the hood and the mask? Years ago, Art Adams had, and I think Alan Davis or whatever, had wrote her into um, like some annuals where they were fighting Mojo and they were all grown up, the New Mutants, and this was uh, her the style of uniform that she had at that time. And I love that uniform. She hasn't worn it since, and she's worn a dozen other ones. Um, you know, red and black was a big thing for a little bit, and I'll show you another one of her in red and black. But anyways, I had them do this, and I love it. I didn't do the color because I just don't got that money. Maybe I'll have them color it next year if I can afford it. So there you go, Ileana. So, um, Jose Yaro, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, Jose Yaro also does this um, comic. I'm trying not to spill everything here. Cards and stuff. Um, upstarts. Um, so... Check it out. Uh, I've started reading it already. It's kind of a cop story on an alien planet sort of thing. So far, pretty good. Um, a lot of my other stuff I haven't um, read, got to read yet, but it's 
in the works. Um, so I also got this other Eliana done by Craig Rosso, Rossu, Rosso, I think LeBeau. Yeah, Russ, Rousseau. And um, he's done a lot of other comics, so he did this headshot. I had not a lot of money of Ilyana, and it's like her when she was a kid on the New Mutants. Totally classic, very my style. Uh, see her armor there. Yes, she doesn't have armor in my game in the most of the storylines. But um, anyways, I got these big plastic sleeves from uh, Fantasy Escape. Um comics place so which is I attend to so if you see my Instagram you see that but anyways it was great um, another art uh, by uh, Shelby Robertson um, that uh, Joel got me of Ileana there's the red and black sort of style that she went to for a while while she's New Mutants because I don't think she was ever on X-Force. But there you go. So that was a lot of the good stuff. I also got to see uh, Larry Stroman again. And got he's doing some art for me. He's doing a kitty in uh, Alien Legion armor. Like last year he did a um, Eliana in Alien Legion armor. So we're doing it. So I got him to sign a comic that him and Peter David both were on so this old X Factor issue, which not that old X Secret Evasion, so but it was great. X Factor was awesome. Um, also got uh, Night in Beard comic, which I picked up a really funny, great art. Um, Farah, Tara, Kershaw, and Sarah. Bollinger, really, really good. I've read most of this already too. Fun, fun stuff. I'd love to see it as a cartoon. Um, so Craig uh, Rossu, Rosso, uh, did this book with um, Todd Dezago, and oh my gosh, this is really good and fine art. Well, great art, but the it's a fun adventure. Um, they both have done a lot of stuff with Marvel Image, um, so it's definitely check this stuff out. Oh, it's called the Perhapanots. Per, yeah, Perhapanots. So really cool. I read. You know, working on reading this, but um, and and it's cool going to a con, getting new stuff, and then you can get them to sign it. Um. I've never been one to sell my stuff, so signing it isn't the most important stuff. But it's a good, um, cool thing. You know, hey, grandkids, look at this someday. And uh, another Kim and Kim. I got their first issue last year. I got their second one this one year. And this was such a great adventure. Uh, rock chicks. Uh, if you don't mind chicks word. Um, you know, variety of different adventures. Alternate worlds. I think that she told me that they're actually staying on the same world this time. So, um, cool. And this is by a lot of girls with cool last names. I probably will butcher them trying to say them correctly. But great. Um, great art, too. Um, and I'm um, talking to TSP guy. He gave me this issue of Three Corpses. You should enjoy this. Uh, based off of me and him in a conversation, he gave me this comic and said, enjoy it. You will if, and come back and pick up some more. So I'm, uh, I'm interested in reading something that I didn't expect to have. So, um, also, uh, I got to meet Peter David and one of my best writer, um, favorite writers. Uh, him and Chris Claremont, pretty much most of the writing that I think is how I think stories should be, those guys wrote stuff in that manner, and I, I loved everything that they did. Um, if you really, um, 
a lot of people think that the stuff that they wrote never happened or something. It's like, oh, we need to write more like this or we need to have more stories like this. Well, sorry, these guys were doing it in the 80s and 90s. You just didn't read their stuff, but I saw it. Anyways, um, Peter David also did Young Justed c cartoon. Uh, the episode Bloodlines is one of them, and I bought the script to it. And I thought, it's so cool. And then he... Um, he signed it, and uh, it's the script for the cartoon. I just thought it was so cool. And I read tons of his um, comics over the years and loved everything. So while I'm there, I'm just um, talking and all these new writers. And I talked to this um, couple of writers, and she, uh, Cicely Link is her name, and it turned out that all of her books were based in stories right around where I live here, North Carolina, Virginia. It's, you know, it's called uh, Falls Cape, Back Bay, Shifting Sands. I just thought, and she told me about it, about um, one of those, it's kind of like um, a story of a town that doesn't exist anymore in the Outer Banks. And she just thought she'd write about it. I was just like, this is so cool. I'm going to buy this. Because it mentions places that I drive past, see out my window every day that I didn't know. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm saying a lot of ums. But who cares? This is all Free Willy style. So, um, and her uh, husband, um, his card here, really cool. And... I picked up a lot of cards for stories like uh, Tunopolis, which is something I'd like to check out. I went and I followed most of these guys on my Instagram. And uh, Bearded Knight and uh, Space Aliens, Bad Mothers and Guns. Really good stuff. Uh, so much. Art, artist. Can you even make that out? No, it's probably too bright. Anyways, um, and there was even um, wow, just audiobooks. This guy did did his own audiobooks. Can you eventually read that? Maybe if I go closer to the camera. And focus, please. Focus. Anyways. Um, did his own audiobooks to these stories. Um, hopefully when I finish these, I'll, I'll mention it in some more um, uh, videos. But, oh, Fried Pickle no Noir. Are you serious? Totally cool. And I just kept getting cards because I wanted to go see, follow them online and maybe their Twitters or whatever. And uh, it was it was a great time. So I got those items and had a great time. And hope uh, you guys check out uh, Tidewater Comic Con next year. These smaller cons are just so much better. I'm thinking about going to the one in Charlotte this summer. And vote for summer and trying to maybe even go to Hampton who cares about the big ones um, these small ones seem to be better at the small time stuff that is more interesting and you get more you can actually talk to writers without a massive line and um, artists so happy um y'all take care uh happy trails and fair winds and following seas this is jody